Folks, this time in Goss's Garage, I want to talk a little bit about coolant, or as you may call it, antifreeze. See, we need coolant in an engine to, of course, keep it from overheating, number one, and to keep the engine from corroding internally, number two. That's very important. All right, now, coolants, well, they come in different colors and different configurations and no one size doesn't fit all accurately. So uh, you may want to make sure that you have coolant that you're putting into your car that matches the specifications for your engine. Now we look at one over here. This is a typical color. We have green. That's the old-fashioned one. We don't see much of that anymore. Now we see mostly oranges, reds, uh, pinks, and uh, amber and things like that. Now a lot of you make a mistake. You see, technicians may tell you that as long as your coolant looks like this or this, as long as it's nice and clean looking, that there's no need to replace it. You've got to wait until the coolant changes color. Then you know it's bad. Well, yeah, that's true. It's bad, all right. You see, these two jars right here have very bad coolant in them. They've turned brown. Where did that brown come from? Well, right here. See, now here we have a water pump, and we look at this impeller. This spins and circulates the coolant through the engine. Now, we take a look at this one. This is the same brand and type of water pump, and we notice the impeller looks like a Swiss cheese. That's because the brown in these coolants comes from dissolved engine. Here's where it dissolved from. The engine is literally rusting apart from the inside out. Now, that means that coolant like this, you've done damage to the engine. You may have done damage to the radiator and other parts in the system. So, what you take out of the car should look pretty much like what you're going to put back in it if you're doing it right. So that means you check the coolant uh, once or twice a year preferably twice a year, using a coolant test strip or a dedicated coolant tester. All right, when it fails the test, regardless of what it looks like, you replace it. Now, here is another problem you may run into. You know, a lot of modern cars, aluminum blocks, aluminum uh, cylinder heads, uh, aluminum water pumps, plastic impellers on the water pumps, all of these different things that don't produce rust. So you could have coolant that is literally eating the inside of your engine apart, but because it is aluminum that's being eaten up, it doesn't turn brown and rusty looking. So you could be doing a lot of damage to gaskets and seals and metal parts and things like that without ever knowing it because you're not going to see anything in the coolant. So again, check the coolant at least well, once a year, but preferably twice a year, use a coolant test strip or a dedicated coolant tester. And if you have a question or comment, drop me a line at goss-garage.com.